Honorable President of India, my colleagues from railways, young probationers, officials from President Secretariat, ladies and gentlemen. At the outset, I would like to record our deep gratitude to Honorable President of India, who has kindly consented to meet our 219 probationers from six services of Indian Railways. This is indeed a proud moment for the young recruits to meet the highest authority of the country, who is not only one of the finest statesmen this country has produced, but also one who has devoted his entire life to the task of nation building. As you may be aware, sir, top managerial personnel of Indian Railways come from eight organized Group A services through civil services and engineering services of UPSC. The group present today is drawn from six services, namely Indian Railway Account Service, Indian Railway Traffic Service, Indian Railway Personal Service recruited through Civil Services Exam 2013, and Indian Railway Service of Electrical Engineer, Indian Railway Service of Signal Engineers, and Indian Railway Service of Stores Officers of Engineering Service Examination 2013. In spite of the allurement of private sector, UPSC's recruitment of Group A railway services is still continue to attract talent from top of best colleges and institutes of the country, including IITs and IAMs. These officers go through 78 weeks training in which they learn both the technical details of their own department as well as general requirements of railway transportation and services to the citizens. Interaction with Honorable President, who himself is a renowned scholar and a teacher, is a golden opportunity for the probationers. Words of advice from Honorable President would give them a solid foundation to, as they start their career. Once again, I express my heartful gratitude to Honorable President for giving us this opportunity today. Thank you, sir. Bharat ke maaniniye Rashpati Mohaday, Railway Board ke chairman aur sadasya gan, pathikram nideshak tatha saathiyo. Kehte hain, jeevan mein kuch shan atyant bahu mool le hoote hain. Aaj ka yeh shan nisan de humare liye abhoot poorv shan hai, jab hum aapne desh ke pratham nagrik maaniniye Rashpati Mohaday aur aap sabhi sabrant nagrikon ke saath hain. Yeh humara saubhag ye hai. Shri Maan, विगत कुछ महीनों में हमारे जीवन में अमूल्य तथा महत्वपूर्ण परिवर्तन आया जब हम देश की सेवा के लिए अधिकारी प्रशिक्षणार्थियों से अधिकारी के पद में प्रत्यक्ष हुए राष्ट्र के प्रति तथा स्वयं हमारे प्रति उत्तरदायित्वों में बदलाव आया है हमें जो प्रशिक्षण दिया गया उसकी संरचना इस प्रकार से की गई कि यह परिवर्तन हमारे कौशल अभिवृद्धि में सहायक सिद्ध हो अठहत्तर सप्ताह के प्रशिक्षण के दौरान हमारे लिए यह आवश्यक था कि हम चौबीस सप्ताह क्षेत्रीय कार्य सीखें मैं बताना चाहूंगी कि यह 24 सप्ताह हमारे जीवन में अत्यंत महत्वपूर्ण सिद्ध हुए समय की इस धारा में हमने अनेक प्रकार से भारतवर्ष को देखा समझा और अनुभव किया अनेक जोन्स डिविजन्स सब डिविजन्स प्रोडक्शन यूनिट्स रेलवे पीएसयूज़, दिल्ली मेट्रो के अतिरिक्त हमने नेशनल अकेडमी ऑफ डायरेक्ट टैक्सेज आई एम कोडिकोड आई एम इंदौर जैसे महत्वपूर्ण संस्थानों में ज्ञान प्राप्त किया कार्य प्रणाली को गहराई से समझने के लिए हमने लोकोशेड डिपो वर्कशॉप का विस्तार में अध्ययन किया एवं फुट प्लेटिंग द्वारा लोको पायलट गार्ड ट्रॉली मैन के कर्तव्यों को जाना अपने देश के एक कोने से दूसरे कोने की यात्रा के अनमोल अवसर ने हमारे अनुभव भंडार में बढ़ोतरी की देश भर के इस व्यापक भ्रमण के माध्यम से विभिन्न लोगों और स्थानों से जुड़ना तथा उन्हें जानना अत्यंत लाभदायक रहा हम अपने ग्राहकों की अपेक्षाओं के अनुरूप विनम्रता एवं संवेदनशीलता का पाठ सीखने में सफल रहे इस अवधि में हमने रेल ट्रैक के माध्यम से सुदूर इलाकों को देश की धारा से जोड़ने के भारतीय रेल के संकल्प का साक्षात्कार किया वास्तव में यह सच्चा भारत दर्शन हुआ हमने सीखा कि विपरीत परिस्थितियों में भी भारत के विकास हेतु भारतीय रेल का गतिमान रहना आवश्यक है रेल की विकासमय यात्रा हेतु इसके प्रत्येक कर्मचारी का संकल्प महत्वपूर्ण है भारतीय रेल राष्ट्रीय अकादमी ने हमें परस्परता के सूत, सूत्रों में बांधा है भारतीय रेल आज बदलाव की दिशा में अग्रसर है 
और इस महान संगठन का अंग बनना हमारे लिए वास्तव में सौभाग्यपूर्ण है हमारी प्रशिक्षण काल के संस्मरण अविस्मरणीय रहेंगे इनके आलोक में इस गरिमामयी दरबार हॉल से मान्यवर आपके आशीष के साथ यहाँ से जाना हमारा सौभाग्य है माननीय राष्ट्रपति महोदय आपका पुनः सादर नमन करते हुए भारत की निष्ठा तथा समर्पित भावयुक्त सेवा का वचन देते हुए मैं अपना निवेदन पूर्ण करती हूँ धन्यवाद जय हिंद मैं श्री जिनेश मोहन आईआरएसएस प्रशिक्षणार्थी को आपके समक्ष अपने अनुभव प्रस्तुत करने के लिए आमंत्रित करती हूँ ऑनरेबल प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया श्री प्रणब मुखर्जी रेस्पेक्टेड चेयरमैन रेलवे बोर्ड सीनियर ऑफिसर्स ऑफ इंडियन रेलवे ऑफिशियल्स ऑफ राष्ट्रपति भवन एंड डियर कलीग्स अ वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून I stand here on this priceless occasion to provide a glimpse of our training and experience thus far. The foundation course flagged off our amazing journey in the Indian Railways. This course, envisioned as an introduction into every department in Indian Railways, struck the mark and engraved in us the very vision of our organization and imbibed at the very outset a sense of comradeship. A string of training modules interspersed with lectures, workshops and on-site learning followed. all complemented by fun and frolic the field visits exposed us to the practical aspects and the dynamics of real time decision making the modules at production units like diesel locomotive works varanasi integral coach factory chennai and a study on real time working of control officers and uh, uh, factors involved in station and block working helped us unwind the complexities that lay behind the seamless transportation of goods and passengers the awareness program at other centralized training institutes ensured we get a perspective of all departments enabling us to adopt a holistic approach in analyzing a situation when we join our working post along with edifying schedule was the sports and cultural evenings which made some of us mini celebrities in our own batches the yoga and pt sessions at the daybreak made self discipline an inseparable part of our character the liveliness and sense of purpose that came along with it was incredible the excellent sports facilities of badminton tennis swimming and many more paved the way for everyone to hone their athletic and field skills the tournaments provided a platform to lock horn against each other and the best came out on top bharat darshan deserves a special mention which gave us an opportunity to appreciate the rich culture of our nation in its original form among all the pandemonium the realization dawned upon us we are part of a larger organization one that integrates india emotionally and physically it awoke a heightened sense of responsibility with this our romance with railway had begun any rendition of our training would be incomplete without mention of samanvay an activity oriented program with special emphasis on enhancing our group dynamics the success of the program is reflected in the enhanced camaraderie among participants our probationary training had introduced us to the ground realities and the various underpinnings for the challenges ahead the ideals imbibed through the course of our training will enable us to forge these challenges into opportunities and assume responsibilities with confidence there is no better occasion than this in the presence of head of our republic in this historic darbar hall to pledge to endeavor to live up to the expectation of the people and to serve the nation with utmost sincerity dedication and commitment i'm truly honored thank you sir as you can see the momento is a railway engine after all railways is the engine of growth of our nation sri ak mitra chairman railway board members of the railway board distinguished faculty members of various training institutes officer trainees of indian railways ladies and gentlemen i welcome you to this historic building which has witnessed many important events which have influenced profoundly the life of the people of this subcontinent and also a large part of the countries around us till 1937 from this building 
are there from Calcutta. The whole of India, which now consists of three states, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Myanmar, then known as Burma, Singapore, Sri Lanka, then known as Ceylon, and up to Aden. The administration was run from here, and with the passage of the 1935 Act, these separate units were established, and after the Second World War, the history changed, and that is the part of history which you are aware of. This particular hall witnessed the transfer of power and end of 190 years colonial rule. None of you were born, particularly the professionals, and many of the <laughs> senior officers also. 190 years colonial rule came to an end at the mid <coughs> stroke of midnight of 14th, 15th August. When in this hall, almost from this place, power was transferred on behalf of the British government by Lord Mountbatten to the representative of the people of India, First Prime Minister Pondicherry. Then again in 1950, another historic moment took place when for the first time, with the completion of the drafting of Constitution of India, India became a republic. And surely you are aware, for 190 years, Laws for our people were made by Britain, the British government, either through executive orders, regulations, or through their parliament. We had no rule. Indians had no rule in making laws for themselves. The first law we made, it was the Constitution of India, which was operationalized from 26th January 1950. And that historic event also took place in this hall. Therefore, I am glad to welcome you to this historic, iconic building where many important events have taken place, both in the post independence and pre-independence. After, of course, the Governor-General goes and we became a republic. It was converted into Rashtrapati Bhavan and various ceremonies including the reception and stay of large number of visiting heads of governments, heads of states mainly, sometimes the prime ministers also, but mainly the presidents and the kings or emperors are staying here. But I am not going to address the history to you. First of all, I would like to congratulate you as you have come from the different streams of discipline. But one commonality is there that you have successfully competed in a very difficult competitive examination, that is Indian civil service. Some of you are the products of the best engineering and technical institutions of the country. You are coming from various backgrounds. 
from various parts from different social systems usage courage and at the same time you are one you are serving people of india through indian railways that is the unique bondage which many people particularly from outside they fail to understand they wonder and more than often i myself face this question how is it that a country having 1.28 billion people in the daily lives more than 230 languages are used in different parts 1800 dialects seven religions all three major ethnic groups in large number caucasians dravidians mongolites all three major ethnic groups living in india yet under one constitution one flag one system of administration and identifying themselves into a stream which is called india many years ago more than 100 years ago tagore wrote a beautiful poem nobody knows i'm talking in english nobody knows from where how these numerous streams came and mingled into one vast ocean and emerged through interactions emerged into one soul that is india and i think you are fortunate to serve india through an organization which is truly indian indian railways which provides connectivity from the snow capped mountain to the waves washed shore to the deserts to the forests over 66000 kilometers railway links i do not know how many millions of passengers you carry every day carrying 1 billion tons of goods freight you are serving the people of this great country a few institutions can be truly called as the unifier of india one is indian railways one is indian postal system and of course the third one is the indian army where all other identities are mingled transformed into one your day to day language may be different food habit may be different system may be different but when you join indian railway service you have one acquire one identity and that identity that you are an officer of the indian railways i welcome you and your decision to join the public service indian railway service many of you might have 
found jobs with more comfortable, cozy lives, greater parks. But always remember, the public service provides you the opportunity of discharging tremendous responsibility in no other service. So much responsibilities are trusted to the younger soldiers. As in India, you have the opportunity if you join the civil service. You are entering into Indian railway services from various streams. Several we have mixed together. That's why it has become a larger group. As I wanted to address you, talk to you, but I could not do individually to each services because that would have been time consuming. But as you are servicing, whether in tariff, whether in personal management, whether in providing security, whether you looking into financial regularities or irregularities. As Indian Railway was established in 1856, one of the earliest services you had is the Indian Railway Account Service. Of course, today's newspaper you have seen that a very old decision concerning railways has been changed by the cabinet approval yesterday. That is, railway budget, which was separated from the general finances in 1924 by the recommendation of a committee. They made the recommendations in 1921. But it took effect from 1924. Railway budget and finances were separated from the general finances. Now the cabinet has decided, henceforth, next year onwards, you won't find any railway budget for the 2017-18. Perhaps 2016-17 is the last railway budget. I'm not going into the merit and demerits of this fact, but you have witnessed a historic transformation which happened 92 years ago, which are undone in the present circumstances. And naturally, it will have in your functioning to some extent. But the most important part of it when you serve the railways, always remember that you are discharging tremendous responsibilities and tremendous amount of trust. Million of persons who sleep at night, they know. At the end of the night, they will be taken to their real destinations safely. Therefore, safety is an important aspect. Security is an important aspect. Punctuality is an important aspect of the railway administration. And henceforth, you won't be able to pass on the back to anybody. You will have to be at it because you are serving as officers, class one, in the Indian railways, in whatever capacity it may be. The job is to provide safety, security, and also to serve them punctually, one billion plus people. Whatever be the development of the air connectivity, or other type of connectivity, railways in Indian system would continue to be 
the most important link to connect different parts in your day to day activities and while discharging your official responsibilities in various sections you will confront with new problems and they are required your spirit of innovation you should always keep your mind free to any idea to any fresh suggestions don't close it you have obtained degrees you have qualified in the qualifying tests and after that you are interested with the responsibilities but always remember you want to learn world is changing so fast just shut your eyes and imagination imagine the situation before internet before mobile connection that means in the 80s within 30 years if the situation with certain discovery with certain invention with certain action of the human ingenuity life can be transformed always you are to keep your mind ready to adjust itself to the new changing situation and to respond it to it positively at the beginning of your career i wish you all success as i mentioned you come from different streams different disciplines and many of you have quite competent in your areas all of you are excellent in your performance that's why you got the chance out of many but that is past phase in the new phase every day you will face new challenges on every occasion you have to confront with a new situation and country expects nation expects that will come up to the mark to face the challenge with courage fortitude and give your best because always in crises a nation's metal is tested it is equally applicable in case of the individuals i wish you all success many of you will reach the top of your organization like mr mittal and many members of the railway board and very senior officials this is a very powerful organization and i am happy the in integrity of this organization is being maintained over a very long period of time many innovations will come in the coming years and i have no doubt indian railways will not only be satisfied with introducing high speed train but all consequential changes is technological approaches and attitudes will have to undergo major changes please remember you are the agent harbingers of the changes i wish you success thank you ladies and gentlemen jai hind honorable president of india chairman railway board my colleague board members senior officers all the young probationers all the officers and staff of the president secretariat as we come to the close of this program which gave us an opportunity to have blessings and words of advice from the first citizen of the country i wish to thank honorable shri pranav mukherjee our learned 
president for having spared his valuable time today to meet the young probationary officers of different railway services. On behalf of the Indian Railways, I express my gratitude to the Honorable President for his kind words of advice to the young officers at the start of their entry into public service. This will always be a memorable occasion for them, which we all will cherish throughout our life and shall continue to inspire all of us further in our endeavors and in the service of our dear nation. I also thank all the officers and staff of the President Secretariat who have interacted with our officers before and during the conduct of this program today and helped make it success. Thank you, one and all. Thank you, sir.